kinda. Now I can talk. Oh, good morning. If you live in LA, you have to try the coconut milk from Erewhon. Oh my God, it is out of this world. <laughs> so good. Like I like coconut milk, it's not my go-to, but this coconut milk is, if you order a coconut milk latte at Erewhon, if you order a large, it's literally $20. And I'm not exaggerating, it's $20 for a large coconut milk latte. So just buy it. This is $12. It's so bad but it's actually worth it. It is 9.11, no, 9.12, phew, 9.12. <laughs> I'm going to make my breakfast. Well, I'm not really gonna make it because I'm trying out this meal program. It's called Sakara, and you may have heard of it if you live in LA, I think it's pretty well known. I decided to try it out this week, so it's been a five-day meal program where they drop off your food overnight, so you wake up and it's at your doorstep. They do that on Monday, and then they drop it again on on Wednesday. So I've been trying it. It's actually perfect because I'm home alone this week. So normally Zach and I eat together. We eat the same things at the same times always, which is such, I think like a lovely bonding thing. We really love food and we love eating together. However, it does lead to me eating way more food just in terms of portions than I think I would if I was just alone. I probably eat past the point of being full a lot of the time just because I'm matching Zach and Zach eats a lot. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm doing Sakara Life. It's all plant-based, organic, nutrient-dense foods that I was worried that I wouldn't be full from because I am used to eating so much food. But I have to say, I haven't been hungry the whole week. I get really excited for every meal because I'm like, oh, it's time to eat my Sakara meal. And it's like a surprise what it's gonna be. And I'm gonna go get my breakfast. Let's do that. Let's see what's for breakfast. have a maize muffin with probiotic berry coolis. I could be pronouncing any of those words incorrectly. Each meal comes in these little containers, which my one piece of feedback for Saqqara so far would be to find a better solution than the plastic, even though they are fully recyclable and they're made from recycled plastic. It does feel like there could be a more sustainable option. So maybe there could be like a reusable container of some kind. I'm gonna eat this now and enjoy my breakfast. The whole Saqqara life belief is that you should eat your food without distractions. Just sit down and eat it and like be grateful for every bite. I read the whole like pamphlet that came with it. And so I've been trying to do that, especially while I've been alone anyway. Cause I feel like normally when I'm eating, I'm like on my phone or watching something or working, but to properly digest and just feel grateful for the food and the nutrients, they say you should just really focus on eating. So let's do that. You know what? That's really good. <laughs> That reminds me of cornbread. And I loved cornbread growing up. That would be even better heated up in the oven, which it did say you should do. But I'm too lazy. <laughs> but yeah, it's delicious. Very good breakfast. Okay, I went on my phone a little bit. My mom was done, my breakfast. And my phone's blowing up from work. You know, that's just showbiz, baby. But I'm appreciating everybody. I don't know if anyone else is having this problem, but I am swiping up on every single Instagram story ad and buying every single thing. I don't know what's happening, but they're getting me and they're getting me good. <laughs> Instagram ads have brought me these two things that just came, so I figured I would open them. This one I'm excited for. It's a really cool tripod looking thing and the ad was really good and I was like, yep, I'll take it. All right, let's open this one first. This one, I actually think I need this. It's a garment steamer, like a 
travel steamer and I have a travel steamer but it's honestly horrendous and doesn't do a good job and it just splatters water all over my garments. And I mean, look at it, it's so modern and sleek and beautiful. It looks like a hair dryer. This is a steamer. It's like a steamer iron in one and you can get really close to the clothing. If it works like it looks like it works, then it's gonna be a game changer. And now for the main event. This is called a foldable mobile phone holder. It's pretty heavy. This is the tripod. It's really actually pretty heavy, so I don't know about traveling with it, but let's see. Push forward, pull out telescopic cube to rotate handle to lock. Then you connect the remote controller. Where's the remote controller? light and the camera on your phone with it. Put your phone in the clamp. I got this guy because it gives you the ability to film straight down. It even has a light to light your subject. I think overall it was a good purchase. I have no regrets. Thank you Instagram advertising. You got me again. I'm not mad about it. Daily commute to the office. Let's go. Welcome to my office. Zach's usually right here. We sit here for hours and hours and work on stuff. But honestly, every day is so different for us. We're not always sitting here at the same time every day. So it just depends if we're having a work day. Every day is usually different, but it's been kind of nice being home more recently because I get to like feel more grounded, feel like I have more of a routine. I tend to feel a bit more scattered with work when we're traveling, where Zach actually loves working while traveling. He prefers it. So he like wants to go on staycations just to go somewhere else to work. But today I'm giving myself one hour because I have a lot to get done after. So so I'm going to do some computer work for an hour here. Got my little to-do list. I always just make a to-do list in my phone in notes. You could have list bubbles that you can check off. Today's to-do list looks like this. Post a photo to Helen Owen, me, my feed. Post a photo to her own, my brand's feed, which I now am running. So I have double the work, catch up on emails. And then I need to go upstairs, pack for my trip, make sure I'm all packed and ready to go so I'm not rushing after pull Bodies. Then I need to film. I'm filming a reel for Evolve right now that is seven days, seven outfits. So I'm filming a little portion of my outfit every day for seven days. So my tripod has just had to stay in the same position in my room for seven days and it's very hard to leave it there, but gotta do it for the content. I'm gonna film today's outfit and then I'm gonna cheat and film tomorrow's outfit because I'm going home and <laughs> I want to make sure that the reel for every day is in the same spot. Don't tell anyone, but Saturday and Sunday, I made it up. <laughs> but the rest of it is real. I'm going to get ready for Pilates. After that, I'm coming home and getting ready to go. I'm eating lunch somewhere in the middle of that list. Let's get it going, shall we? Just gonna do a little bit of work, so see you in a sec. of makeup on top of the makeup I already had on because I have to film that reels for Revolve. And then I'm gonna pick out what I'm gonna wear to Pilates. You can help me with that. And then we're gonna head out. I'm running a little bit behind. It's 12.15, Pilates is at one, but luckily it's nearby to me. So it won't take very long to get there, but I don't wanna be late. So let's get this rocket. This is what it looks like when I'm filming a reel. Please don't make fun of me. All right, and then I review, see if I look too embarrassing. All right, cool, one take wonder. And now I'm filming one more look for this reel. This is my Saturday outfit. Shh, don't tell anyone that. I didn't actually film this on Saturday, but I'm going home for the weekend, so you can't blame me. But this is how you get it done, people. 
time to get ready for Pilates. <laughs> These are my options. Time to get ready for Pilates. I have a few minutes before I have to leave. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Does anyone else get so excited about this part of working out? Honestly, for me, like what makes me excited to work out, sadly, is usually having a cute outfit. Fabletics, as you know, is one of my absolute favorite athletic wear brands. What I've been wearing all day, that cute green set that I was wearing today is Fabletics Lounge, which they're launching September 1st. So you may or may not be in the future while you're watching this and it may already be September. And if it is, Fabletics launched loungewear and it's all so, so stinking cute. So go check that out. I'm picking out my outfit to wear to Pilates and I need your help, even though you have no say in the matter because you're in the future. But I think I'm gonna do an Instagram poll to help me decide on things. This is option number one. I've been wearing this set a lot lately. It is so comfortable. I think it's their rib knit fabric, so it's really stretchy and really soft while also being quite rigid. So it really holds you in in the right places. What I love about these shorts is they have this like net detailing here, which is very, very stretchy and forgiving. You know how some biker shorts like right here they kind of cut in on you at least if you you know have larger thighs which my thighs are a healthy size it kind of cuts in on your thigh area and it's just like not cute and it's uncomfortable well because of the way that this is like netted like that super light it doesn't do that and it makes them so much more comfortable to wear this is option number two it's another short set I love the shiny texture on these shorts and this top very unique and also very flattering on zip Body. And then I love this layering aspect to the tank top. This is another option for me to wear today. I love that this is becoming a thing. Wearing onesies is like trending right now and Fabletics makes the cutest ones like this one. They just dropped this August. It is so flattering for wearing a onesie, which is kind of like a funny thing to wear, I feel, but I still feel so confident in it and it feels just so comfy. Another Another option, although it is extremely hot outside, so I'm not really in the mood to wear this much fabric, aka leggings, but I still wanted to show this just because it's so cute. It has this really cool detailing of these like seams throughout, and then what I love most is the cut on this top. Probably won't be wearing this one, but just wanted to show you. You can probably tell I'm in a rush by the framing I'm doing in all of these clips. <laughs> it's just, I'm rushing. Okay, I decided to go for this one. I know you've probably heard me talk about it before, but Fabletics, they're just getting better and better. The styles are getting so cute, especially with loungewear launching. If you've been waiting to sign up to become a VIP, now is the time. There are so many crazy perks to becoming a VIP. I literally look forward to the beginning of every month just so I can see what new styles they're dropping. And they always do pieces that are unique, which I love. As much as I love a basic black workout set, I also feel really confident and more inspired when I'm wearing something a little more unique. That's what Fabletics is amazing at. Both both of those, the perfect basics and then the really cool standout pieces. You can get insane deals when you sign up. I'll put some info on the screen right here. There's no extra cost, by the way, to become a VIP. You're not gonna get charged some crazy fee every month. You only are going to pay for what you are purchasing, if that makes sense. But the perk is that you get first dibs to everything. There are amazing sign up bonuses, like two pairs of leggings for $24. So many amazing other perks to becoming a VIP, but you can skip any month that you don't want to shop so you don't have to shop every month if you don't want to you can skip as many months in a row as you want and then if you don't skip you are charged I believe it's $49 and you can pick out any two-piece set or any other item that you would normally be spending $80 on you are only spending $49 on plus all these other perks I could go on for days but guess what I gotta go to Pilates because we're running really late and I wanted to vlog it I'm gonna go but also Click the link in my bio. Go, do it right now if you want to sign up to become a VIP with Fabletics. Okay, let's go to Pilates. I need shoes, I need shoes, I need socks. Got my Pilates socks. Let's go to Pilates. Hopefully I'm not late.
Okay, I made it just a few minutes late. Also realized I did not put on deodorant today. Oh well, it's too late for that. But this is Carrie's new space. It's so beautiful. I mean, look around. I'm used to doing Pilates classes with a full class of people for carries. That was a one-on-one -on -one session with Alyssa. Private sessions are like a hundred times harder than taking a class. Woo! But look at this bathroom. You got a flower wall in the bathroom. Oh my god, I can barely hold the camera. I got a bike back and pack because I have to leave for the airport in like one hour. My flight's at 5.30 and you just never know what the traffic's gonna be like in LA. So I gotta like get going. Luckily, I'm just packing for the weekend. So it shouldn't be too hard of a pack job, but I haven't started packing at all yet. Let's go home. Okay, that was such a hard workout. Wow. Turns out I'm actually really out of shape. I guess that's what happens when you don't work out consistently, but I'm really glad that I got that workout in. I feel, well, I don't feel good at the moment, but I know I will later. Actually, no, I won't. I'll be really sore, but I feel accomplished. I have approximately just under an hour to pack for the weekend before I have to head to the airport. I'm definitely a last minute packer through and through. That's just what I do best, baby. So I'm gonna throw some stuff in a bag. Not too worried about it, but I realized that I did not eat lunch earlier. So let's do that now because I know I'm gonna be hungry in like 15 minutes. Right after a workout, I'm never hungry and then it like hits me and I'm famished. So I know that's coming and I know I'm gonna need energy to pack. So let's see what's for lunch with Sakara. This is my favorite time of day, seeing what meal I'm gonna eat. water cup is oddly comforting to me. <laughs> it's like my safety blanket. This is the famous Tink's cup. I know I'm obsessed with it. I'll link it in the description. <laughs> my Saqqara lunch is a serenity bowl with pomegranate dressing. Normally salads bore me. I've never, well, sometimes I want a salad, but usually it's just kind of like boring to me. All of these salads have been so good. They just taste so fresh and the toppings and the dressings that come with them are like out of this world and it's all plant-based and organic. Here's the superfood spotlight of the day. Superfood spotlight is pomegranate from earthy lentils, yellow beets, and butternut squash to crunchy pomegranate and turmeric macadamia feta. This salad is a balance of sweet and savory that protects the brain, staves off hunger, and fights diseases too. Bask in the balance. Damn, sign me up. How is it so good? It was just leaves. I'm gonna eat this. This isn't a mukbang, so I'm just gonna, just gonna eat this. And then we're gonna go upstairs and pack. So I'll see you there. All right, Uber's here. Gotta go. Bye house. Oh shoot, gotta turn off the lights. Gotta lock the doors. Let me get a drink for the road. Grabbing a roadie. Coconut water. All right, let's go.
vlogging. Oh, right. <laughs> this is Izzy's special non-alcoholic version. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Yay. I made it home. I'm back in my childhood room. My sister's moving to London and she moves in a few days. So I'm really excited and really thankful that I get to see her this weekend and spend some time with my family. It's really late and I'm so exhausted. After today, I am going to pass out and end the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me all day if you made it this far. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Good night.